Thank you, Lord. We're very glad to be with you tonight. That's the understatement of the year, of course. Uh, we want to begin immediately before we get uh, involved and maybe get to drinking or something like that. We want to uh, thank everybody who uh, has <coughs> helped to bring us here. I can get their names here, I'll be good. First, we want to thank the pastors, Father uh, Ken uh, Bayer. Uh, I believe that's Bayer like aspirin, right? Uh, very significant name. Uh, what a marvelous church did he, uh, was this built under him? No. no. He inherited the debt. <laughs> and then, uh, dear Father Joseph, uh, you're a priest from India to me, and uh, we want to thank you both for allowing us to come to you. Uh, I, be, I believe that uh, we must thank also Bill Leffler, uh, an all Saints prayer group. And didn't you go to back uh, to the Father uh, Ken and uh, to get us uh, into St. Pat's? I'm still not coming on, am I? Check it out, Mr. Pink. He's uh, <laughs> Well, do you hear me back there, Mrs. Bradford? Do you hear me? I hear you. Oh, okay. I have that new kind of AIDS, you know, the hearing AIDS. So. Oh, okay. Very good. We uh, thank the leadership also of the uh, St. Pat's Prayer Group, which, uh, uh, it's been that active in this uh, endeavor. Uh, we have uh, uh, Joe Andre Andriet. Uh, let's see, I want to thank Joe Andriet. Uh, I think he's going to video us, so you're in the movies tonight. Uh, Getting all practiced up to go to uh, a week from now. Uh, please, God, will be going overseas uh, to make a movie. Um, miracles. What do you think of that? The BBC has uh, sent us some tickets to uh, bring us over there, and uh, it's going to be filmed, I believe, in. <coughs> Uh, England and Medjugorje, mostly. So, so many wonderful miracles have taken place that they, in the pink, it's, it's hit the headlines over there. And so they uh, have been telephoning us to, uh, to do this. It's nice to be wanted by the FBI, born, born Irish and all that. <laughs> uh, we want to thank and uh, advance our captures and ushers. We have not only a rookie celebrant, but we have two rookie ushers. <laughs> so don't bite their hands when they come around, okay? <laughs> do the best they can. <clears throat> we, uh, oh, there we go. Thank you.
beautifully brought us together. Uh, tonight, we want to give a special salute to the uh, uh, host and hostess with the mostess. And those are my very dear friends, uh, Tom and Karen Carroll. Uh, they're very caring pe people, I found. Uh, they are 25 years ordained, uh, I mean, uh, canonized, let's see, well, I guess it's the right word here, uh, married. And uh, <laughs> so I'm going to uh, celebrate this Mass for them for their 25th anniversary, uh, celebrating it uh, for a whole year. And uh, so, uh, if you're nice, I might invite you to my 50th, uh, which is this year. Um, we're going to celebrate that in Chicago in uh, May, the 26th of May in the Basilica of Our Lady of Sorrows. So, uh, uh, we're having all kinds of celebrations here. So remember us then in this Holy Mass, all of us, please. We have uh, Servites, you know, I have a Servite. I should have had you sit down, you're getting tired already. Uh, these Servites begin our Mass, all of our uh, great actions of the day, uh, by uh, addressing Mary in the words she never tires of hearing. Uh, Notice of the words of God to Gabriel asking her to be his mother. Thank God she said, yes, but we'd all be some, wouldn't we? Uh, so let us address her. Uh, we have our lady right here, I believe. We have a little tiny uh, mother and child here. And let us turn to her and address her with those beautiful words she loves to hear. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's take that once more. That's such a, a strong sacramental. You see the power of the sacramentals if you have to do exorcisms and if you make the sign of the cross over and go or sprinkle them with holy water and uh, uh, you see the uh, uh, how they yell and scream the demons yell and scream they can't take that so let us make that sign in this sign we will conquer every time in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, do I hear amen? Amen. You the Lord be with you. And also with you. <coughs> oh, are you true? Well, recently, Maria Pavlovich, uh, one of the visionaries, was talking, and she mentioned how Our Lady says we should prepare for Mass always. We shouldn't come into Mass cold. In Medjugorje, they have a parish Mass every night, three with hymns to Our Lady, and then they sing, they have the litany, and um, the uh, Bene Creator Spiritus and all that. So they prepare a whole hour before Mass. We have some now. Okay, so we should prepare uh, before Mass. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to sprinkle you with some of this blessed water. Um, I, when I was, uh, you know, the Servites descend me over a good part of the world. And one of the I mean, places was the Middle East. Uh, was there a number of times and I was very <clears throat> impressed with the Muslims reverence for their mosque, their house of worship. <clears throat> Before they go into their mosque, they take their shoes off 
and they wash their feet in the fountain before the loss. How do you like that? Forever. Can we Christians do lessons? Sprinkle us, O Lord, we shall be cleansed. Wash us, we shall be brighter than snow. Have mercy on us, O Lord, your great mercy. Create in me, O Lord, a clean heart, a humble, contrite heart, O Lord, you will not despise. My sacrifice
gospel, his good news. And so, just as we would welcome any great person or personage who would enter our assembly right now, like President Bush, maybe, he came in here. We wouldn't just sit there, would we? We'd get up and give them a big, rousing welcome, even if we were Democrats. So let's do that for Jesus. <laughs> has 
sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has himself given testimony on my behalf. <clears throat> his voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, neither do you have his word abiding in you, in your hearts, because you do not believe the one he has sent, Jesus. Search the scriptures in which you think you have eternal life. They also testify about me and my behalf. Yet you are unwilling to come to me in order to possess that life. <clears throat> it is not that I accept human praise. It is simply that I know you and you do not have the love of God in your hearts. Those are pretty rough words, aren't they? I have come in my Father's name, yet you do not accept me. But let someone come in his own name, and him you will accept. How can people like you believe? When you accept praise from one another, yet do not seek the glory that comes from the one God. Do not imagine that I will be your accuser before the Father. The one to accuse you is Moses, on whom you have set your hopes. If you believed Moses, you would then believe me, for it was about me that he wrote. But if you do not believe what he wrote, how can you believe what I say? Boy, he's really socking the tomb, isn't he? <coughs> Tell them like it is. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you. Sick beds, 
pain, he gave sight to the blind, he gave hearing to the deaf. So tonight, I, was, <coughs> I thought I would just uh, give you a few action shots and uh, of what Jesus is still doing and showing that he is sent by the Father. Here's a picture, it's a little bit small. You can have 2020 vision, I suppose you can see this. <clears throat> I was telling somebody the other day about the uh, 95 year old who had 2020 vision. And uh, so he was a golfer. And this other man always had a, a, a problem finding his ball. He was a terrific slugger, golfer. He get up and have tea and hit that ball way down near the the next <coughs> green. And uh, but he couldn't. He had a problem finding the ball. So uh, they suggested he team up with this old timer who had 20/20 vision. So they did. Smack the ball. And, and he asked the old guy, did you see that? Oh, I see it. And uh, so they got down near the, the green, and he said, uh, where is it? Well, he says, I don't remember. I have Alzheimer's. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you later on, Secret, the one who has the greatest pace of Alzheimer's in the whole universe. You think about that. This little man in uh, showing Jesus is still walking the earth and especially when his mother Mary is near with him. This little German lad, his name is uh, Ari Oberausch. I hope I didn't get into that on your blouse there. <laughs> to speak German, you have to have a napkin at all sometimes uh, on the mushy side. Well, Ari Oberausch was uh, had three percent vision in one eye. Would you say he's blind? Three yeah. percent in one eye. That's all he had. So I guess he was blind. Well, his uh, neighbor lady, who had claimed uh, at an earlier healing service in Medjugorje, uh, a healing from uh, cancer. I was telling her neighbors and she and they asked him asked her if she would bring little Ari who's blind uh, to be blessed also. So we prayed over him and anointed his eyes and I told him to keep his eyes closed so I would pray over him. And then I said, Now please open your eyes. Oh, can Zayn. Any Germans here? I can see. Praise the Lord. <laughs> These are some action shots of Jesus' word. Made flesh, you may say. Put into action. Here is a little or rather a uh, large tall Heather Duncan is her name. I remember her name by a, a little a memory jogger. She done can, so can you. Heather Duncan of uh, Aberdeen, Scotland. Heather uh, came to Medjugorje 
with a group <coughs> under the aegis of a uh, Jesuit uh, priest, former Anglican turned Catholic and then Jesuit from Aberdeen. And <coughs> she was pushing her wheelchair. She had a crushed back. She was uh, going around in her wheelchair. And a couple of young whippersnappers came and said, you've got to go out to the cemetery and get blessed with Father of a rookie. And uh, she said, oh, I don't believe in all that stuff. You know, and she, well, they persuaded her. And so she came out anyway. And I would have missed her if it hadn't been for a very dear little <coughs> girl from St. Louis. Martha Dora, and she took me from all the people. She said, there's a lady here in the wheelchair. She, she won't, she isn't coming up. And, uh, she wants to be blessed, but she's too shy. So I went back there, and we prayed over her, and I learned what had happened to her. She had a steel uh, jacket on to keep her back in somewhat in place. And but she was in terrible pain, and was on painkillers constantly, and so on. Well, we prayed over her, and I asked all the people, and said, I will be asking you tonight, for these more seriously ill people, to hold their hands over, over her, which they did. And we said those words, I just quoted you from Peter, my namesake, by the way, uh, silver and gold we have done. What we have, we give you in the name of Jesus, arise and walk. She came out of her wheelchair almost without help. She didn't even flip the footrest and walk the whole up and down the crowds. And with first very hesitantly and painfully, and then without any pain, she went. And then she went back to her chair and I went back to work with the rest of the big crowd. The next time I saw her, she had her had taken off her harness, thrown it on the wheelchair, and she said, I don't need any of these things anymore. I don't have any more pain. I know I'm healed. I know I'm cured. Praise God. received a little spike in there, I don't know where it is. <laughs> so, well those are just a couple of, uh, what did not get uh, so much press was something that happened just a few minutes before that. Another wheelchair, we just had two wheelchairs that day in the, in the cemetery. Um, you know, we had the healing services in the cemetery. It was nice and quiet, cool, out of the stream of traffic and so on. That's why we had it there. But now it's for both of you to have it out there. We have it, we hit the big top now. We have put up a big tent or two there. And so we have the healing services in the big tents under the big top. So we're graduated now. But anyway, this uh, other wheelchair, was a, a lady about the same age, 32, I think. Boy, they were both around, probably around that age. And uh, this uh, lady had uh, multiple sclerosis, MS. You know how crippling that can be. Did anybody ever know or see on the TV the, this beautiful black star, uh, singer, swinger, Dancer, uh, Lola Palana, that ring a bell? I didn't know about her until this happened. She developed MS. But she knew that Jesus was going to heal her. This beautiful girl, shapely person, was all 
I don't saw her out of shape in every way. She said one arm was falling off and then over one leg. Uh, and uh, of course, with all the pain and discomfort that those things bring. Well, our Lord came one day and touched her and healed her. Well, the same thing happened to this young lady. Uh, I tell if I have, she allowed me to tell if I her healing that vocal, and I have a, a video on that if you want a copy of it, send it to you. But uh, by the way, while I'm thinking of it, anybody who wishes to uh, be on our uh, mailing list, our, I put out a little message every, every month in the calendar of events where we're going to be and all that. So if you want to, if you're interested, you can see uh, my uh, hostess, or the hostess, Carol. Uh, where is she? I don't see her here today. She must not have made it. Is, is your mother here, Chris? She'll be here later, I guess. Well, or Chris here. He can give the information. He's a great woman. You want to stand up so they can see you and then you want to Well, anyway, this uh, little girl's name was Bailey. Um, and uh, she, uh, she, she walked through the crowds, went back, pushed her chair back to town, just like uh, Heather Duncan. So praise the Lord. There was two and one. The Lord won't be on them in generosity. And so the story goes all over. Jesus is still walking through our hands, uh, healing, showing through his works, as he says in the gospel today, that he is God's Son. He and the Father are one, and He is God's Son, the Son of God. We are, uh, maybe you're thinking, well, Father Rookie's talking about all these people overseas, how about something right at home? Well, I think there's been quite a number of healings right here in Atlanta for the last year or two. Uh, we, uh, I'll just uh, mention uh, one in Chicago. I don't uh, have anything in my hand about the land, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but uh, we, we received uh, thousands of letters, healings. Uh, and uh, this uh, next Thursday, no, I guess I won't be here Thursday. When I'm in at home in Chicago on Thursdays, we have go to a holy hour. Uh, we have we have a holy hour. Uh, they invited us to uh, give a few words and um, have benediction and so on and pray the rosary, just as Our Lady is asking in uh, Medjugorje. Uh, in fact. Uh, well, I think of it, um, you notice the healing mass takes a little longer than an ordinary mass. Uh, well, I'd like to invite you to think of this time we're spending together as a, an answer to our Blessed Mother's invitation that we spend two or three hours every day with the Lord. So tonight we have it made. So who's going to knock it? <laughs> and we, I hope it will be uh, an enjoyable three hours with the Lord. Uh, and then we hear she's just repeating the words of our Lord in the garden. Could you not watch one hour with me? Um, and uh, and I like to tell people I'm studying hard to become Padre Pio. 
<laughs> not in the sense you may think, but uh, in the sense that Padre Pio's mass was a, a very long in duration. Um, anybody here ever gone, if you don't have any old people like myself here, you have gone to see Padre Pio. Nobody had that. Well, I was stationed in Italy, the survey sent me all over and I said, here's Karen now. Uh, we're going to ask you for some uh, information later on, Karen, and just so brace yourself. Uh, well, anyway, uh, this uh, Padre Pio's mass was at 5 o'clock in the morning on the side altar. This is, of course, three back in two. The uh, Latin Mass was in Latin, the Trinitine uh, Mass, which for many priests took only about 15 or 20 minutes flat. For Padre Pio, an hour and a half, two hours was part of the course. And in spite of that, or maybe because of it, we were knocking down the door of the church at 4.30 a.m. trying to get in to get close to the altar, the side altar of St. Francis where he had mass. So, as I say, I'm practicing up to be Father Peel. If you figure you feel the mass is a little bit on the longer side. Uh, and uh, we're trying to have a, a whole month's mission in one mass tonight. So look at that, capsulizing the whole thing. So it would have saved a lot of time. Uh, well, anyway, this, uh, to, to give you just one quick American healing uh, that happened uh, August 1st in Chicago, uh, or August, the first Sunday, uh, first Saturday of August, I should say, in honor of Our Lady, we always have a healing service there in our home church, seven holy founders now on the south side. Uh, the seven holy founders were called by Our Lady to found the Servites. Uh, well, anyway, this uh, uh, doctor and his wife, I think it was only the mother the wife brought their seven-year-old Sammy, Samuel Hamilton, uh, to be blessed. Uh, at the age of three, they finally diagnosed Sam, little Sam, as an epileptic. He was having terrible seizures. So they, since that time, he's now he just turned eight. He was still seven in August. First Saturday of August. Well, uh, so he's under heavy drugs and so on. That's all he can do with the epilepsy. It just you know keep him drugged up so the the seizures are not so um, severe. Is that right? Any medics here know about that? Uh, well, <coughs> suddenly turn came laid hands on him and uh, prayed over him. He felt an electric shock going through his body. And he got up and told his mother what had happened. He said, I know I'm cured. So he ceased taking his medicine. He went off to school without his medicine. Uh, and, uh, the mother falls in line and says, well, I know I'm cured. The Lord has cured me. So they run to the pediatrician. They, uh, his uh, tests had not shown, and had not changed over the years. And always uh, had made no progress. And uh, the mother started praying the rosary. She prayed two rosaries during the test. And at the mother's heart, she knew he was cured too. And the next day, the pediatrician called up to say that all systems normal, the first time in little Sammy's life. Praise the Lord. 
brother, Belgian. They have a nickname for everything now. Even the wool, they pull up your eyes, it's half cotton anymore, isn't it? <laughs> so, reconciliation. <laughs> Almost invariably, of late times, at a healing mass, the Lord makes his presence felt in a special way. People come afterwards and tell us they see our Lord in the home store, our Blessed Lady. Last Sunday evening in San Francisco, or San Mateo, rather, a lady said she saw Padre Pio all during the Mass. And our Blessed Lady, dear Lord, thank you. Then, some Sundays ago, in St. Louis, after the words of consecration, bring tears to your eyes. And it's the, way it, the way it should be, after the words of consecration, Several people didn't see this old sinner, Father Peter and Mary Rookie, anymore. Just Jesus. Praise the Lord. Tonight, our Lord undoubtedly will give us another touch of his presence. Please give that lady some water so she doesn't suffer so much. Here's a little right here. Right. We, when you bring <laughs> lift out your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we praise and thank you through Jesus Christ our Lord for your presence and action in the world. In the midst of conflict and division, we know it is you who turn our minds to thoughts of peace. Your spirit changes our hearts. Enemies begin to speak to one another. Those who are estranged join hands in friendship. And whole nations seek the way of peace together. Your spirit is at work when understanding puts an end to strife, when hatred is quenched by mercy, vengeance gives way to forgiveness. For this we should never cease to thank and praise you. We join now of all the choirs of heaven as they sing your glory forever. He is the way that leads to your grace. God our Father, we have wandered far from you. Through your Son, you have brought us back. You gave him up to death so that we might turn again to you and find our way to one another. Therefore, we celebrate the reconciliation Christ has gained for us. We ask you to sanctify these gifts by the power of your Spirit as we now fulfill your Son's command. While he was at supper on the night before he died for us, he took bread in his 
hands, gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory of Jesus, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Pause long enough to recognize Jesus in each other. Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, died, and rose again, so that we could follow him. Happy are we who recognize him and receive him. O oh Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Yeah. 
been a week in my life uh, since, since that happened that I haven't thought of you and prayed for you. Oh, thank you. Luckiest man in the world. We have the luckiest rookie anyway. <laughs> Take time for one more instance to be the one to be uh, uh, do our sounds of generosity to
fact, she is crippled in her brain, and Father prayed over her, and it was unbelievable. The lady gave up the great walk, and she's fine, and she'll go back to the area in her next week. I think Father, this is Heather Duncan. Jesus did it. And also, I've been full of cancer myself, so I know how good God is. Thank you. Yeah.
do not disturb any of those resting in the spirit. They do not want to be disturbed. Please do not disturb. Thank you. Now, Mary, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Father right. Christ, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou, Mary, and blessed is the fruit of all Mary, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and now and ever. Now, Mary, Father Christ, save us from the heart of hell. Be the house of Mary. over this autistic child. So cannot hear. He does not hear. No hear. Deaf and dumb. Thank you, Jesus. Or you can make the deaf hear and the dumb speak. Dumb speak. Let your power come down upon this small family.
Thank you. 